All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up volume discounts or quantity break discounts in your Shopify store. So this is an example of what it could look like here. So we can see on this product, we have three different tiers of volume discounts. So there's the base price, there's buy three, you save 10%, and there's buy five, you save 20%. So if I were to just say add three of these to the cart, view the cart, we can see the discount being applied here. And if I switch this below in the cart, we can see the discount goes away. And then if I were to go up to five, we can see that the next tier discount is kicking in right here. So I'm gonna show you how you can easily set this up in your store in, the, in this video in just a couple minutes. So the first thing you'll need to do is install the app Easy Volume Discounts. So you can get to this app by just searching for it in the app store or clicking the first link in the description. And then once you've installed it, I'm going to show you how you can set this up in just a couple minutes. So once you've installed the app, there's only going to be two things that you need to do to actually get it up and running in your store. So the first thing you need to do is actually create an offer. And then the second thing you'll need to do is just add an app block into your theme template. So that way the offer actually shows up on the product page like this. So if we come to the offers page inside of the app, we can see that we have the option to create an offer right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So in order to create the offer, we just have to fill in some information over here. And during this entire creation process, we can see a preview of what it's going to look like on our product page over here on the right. So we have the offer name here. This is just going to be for admin purposes. So the customers won't see this or anything, but this title right here is what shows right here. So this will be visible on the storefront. So you can see if I just started typing in different stuff here that that would show up right here. So you can put in any type of text copy that you want. We have this countdown timer text that shows here. You can choose to enable or disable the countdown timer in general over here on the customization tab, which we'll get to in a second. We have some error message text right here. Normally you can just keep these as default and you don't have to worry about that too much. Now we have some further editing that's locked right now because of the layout we're using. But if we switch our layout to a box or a table, which we can do over here, then this will be unlocked. So down here under discounts, this is where we can actually configure the different price tiers. So by default, every new discount just starts off with buying one as normal price and then buying two and then buying three. So you can configure what you want your discount to be. By default, we have zero, 10 and 20. Let's say you wanted to add in another tier for buy four. You can make it buy four and then you could have this 30% and then we could make the discount 30% right here. And then we just change this quantity to four. So you can see that everything in here is going to translate to what's actually shown over here. So we have this text, which shows right here. We have the tag itself, which is going to show right here. And then we have the description, which says you save 20 right here. We have the quantity that this is going to be associated with, which in this case is going to be two. So this changes the selected amount when you select this option. So you want that to correlate with the text that you are creating right here. And then you can choose the discount type to be no discount, a percentage off or a fixed flat amount off right here. And you don't have to use this description. For example, you can just remove it and you could also remove this tag if you wanted to as well. However, I'll keep the tag in there for this particular scenario. The title of the discount, and this is going to act as the actual discount name. So if we come back over here and view our cart, we can see that this is going to be the actual discount tag name that shows up right here. So you just have to make sure that you name this something unique so these can't be like the same name for example because the discount tag actually has to be something different so we have just buy two buy three and then so down here for the new discount we created we could just change it to buy four 
and you can always make this something super simple as well, like just buy two and that's it. So it can just be like buy two, buy three, buy four. You can name these whatever you want as long as they are unique. And then you can choose which one is going to be selected by default. So this is just going to change which option is going to be selected by default in the front end on the product page here. And then just to clean this up a little bit, what I'm going to do is just, I'll remove the descriptions in this particular scenario, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then I'm going to go over to customization next. So over here, this is where we can actually select which products it applies to first. So we can choose to apply this discount to in multiple individual products, or you can choose to apply it to collections or you can choose to apply it to all of the products in your store. Now, in order to apply it to multiple products, you do have to be on the paid plan for the app though. So in this case, I'm just going to apply this to all products just to keep this simple for the demonstration. And then right here, we can change our style. So we can see that right now we have the block layout that has interactive horizontal. There's also interactive vertical, there is the box, and then there is the table. So this is where these specific layout customizations get unlocked. For if you're using an interactive one, you have these. If you're using a box, you have this. And if you're using a table, you have these. So depending on your layout, that unlocks a little bit of content text right here to edit. So in this case, we'll stick with the interactive horizontal but whichever one you use is down to personal preference. Over here, you can choose whether or not you want to show or hide the countdown timer just by checking it, unchecking this box. There's a few advanced parameters here that you can choose to hide if you can't do this within your theme. Normally you can do all this within your theme, but if you can't, you can choose some of these parameters here to like hide the quantity field, for example. And then scrolling down, this is just where we have the advanced customization. So if you want to change all of your colors in here to match your branding, you can do that. So like, for example, you can just change something to like red and you can see that that changes right here. And you can change every single part of this. So you can change all of the different colors to match your branding. You can change the font size over here as well of everything. So you can see I'm shrinking this text right here, or I can increase it back up. And then you can change the font style as well to be either regular or medium. So this is essentially whether it's regular or bold right here. So you can customize all of this to your liking to match your store branding. And then once you've set all of this up, you just have to come down here and click on publish. So that's how you can create the discount. Now this discount is already going to be in action on all of these products, for example. So if I were to come over here to discounts in the store, we'll be able to see that buy two, buy three, and buy four were all automatically created from the app automatically. So these discounts will already start to apply on qualifying orders. Now, what we need to do next is to show this on our product pages. So that way customers know that they are going to get a discount. So in order to do that, we just need to come over here to online store themes and then open up the theme customizer. And then we just need to head over to our products and then we need to go to our product template so for many stores all of your products might just be under one default template so you can just add it to this now if you have multiple product templates that you have discounts applied to then you will have to add this theme block to multiple product templates if you are using multiple but the process is exactly the same so i'm going to just add it to my default product template here so we can see that i already have it inserted in the theme right here. But if I were to remove it, just to show you how you can add it again, you could just come down here to product information. And then we're going to click on add block. And then if we go over here to apps, we can go down to easy volume discounts. 
and we can add the app block in and then you can drag and drop it wherever you want. In this case, we'll just drop it right above the buy buttons here, but you can choose to drop it wherever you want. Now, keep in mind that this is only going to appear visible in the theme customizer if the product you were previewing actually has an offer that is assigned to this product. So if this product didn't have a volume discount assigned to it, then this will not actually appear in the theme customizer preview, but that's fine. It will show up on eligible products on your live store. So just keep that in mind. So once we add this into the product page template, all we have to do is click on save. And now it will appear in our store. Now there's one other place that you can add this to as well. So if we go to our home page, if you're using the featured product sections, so you can see the featured product. So if you're using these featured product sections in your store, you can also add the block into here as well. So I can click on add block and I could add this in here as well. And it will show up here as well. So if you are using featured product sections, you can add this in here if you'd like. This is personal preference, you don't have to. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep it on the product pages only. So now if we come over here to the store, we can take a look. So I'll just come down here and click on a product. And then we can see that clicking any of these, since we're using the interactive layout, automatically changes the quantity. And if I were to change the quantity from here, it's interactive as well. So we could just add these to cart. And we can see that right now we are getting the buy two discount. If I go to one, we can see we're getting no discount. So buy two, if I go up to three, we're getting the buy three. And if I go up to four, we're getting the buy four. So that's how you can easily set up volume quantity break discounts in your store using the Easy Volume Discounts app. So be sure to check out the app by clicking the first link in the description or searching for it on the Shopify app store. And if you have any questions regarding how to set this up, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another one.